Hi, I'm Pete Farm from AHW, and we're here in the garage to talk about the new John Deere Z370R electric zero turn mower. Today I brought with me one of our gas powered machines so we can discuss the differences between the electric powered zero turn and the gas powered zero turn. Let's go take a look. Here we are in our comparables. I've got a gasser over here and an electric over here. We're gonna talk about the similarities between these two machines. In 2023, John Deere redesigned the Z300 zero turn platform. You've got a more robust frame and you can see it here on the gas machine. It's also the same frame you find on the electric machine. Similarities include the integrated park brake into the zero turn handles. We've also got the same seat, high back bolstered seat for rider and operator comfort. We've got the same deck lift on both machines with a foot pedal. We've got the same deck shell, the XL Deep Deck. The same deck controls, your PTO switch and deck height selector are the same on the gas machine and on the electric machine. After looking at the similarities of the two machines, you can definitely see that the Z370R electric belongs in the Z300 zero turn family. And now let's look at what makes this machine different. You can see on the front of our gas machine here, we've got the traditional pulley and belt drive system on our XL deep deck. Here on the electric machine, we can see there's no belts and no pulleys, only electric motors. Now, what does that mean for you? That means no belts to replace, no spindles to grease, making the deck on the electric model virtually maintenance free. As you can see, we've turned these units around so we can showcase the differences between gas and electric drivetrains from the rear view. Let's start off with the gas machine. You can see here we've got an air cleaner to service. We've got a dipstick and an oil fill and an oil filter. And on this side, we've got a fuel filter. All these service points you can see on the gas machine. And as we look over here on the electric machine, Virtually all those service points have been eliminated. We've got a waterproof cover to protect our battery and our electronics. The only service points you really need to be concerned about on the electric model is the plug-in port. All this is made waterproof so you can wash it just like any other gas machine. The Z370R electric is equipped with an onboard charger, which means all you need to charge this machine is a standard wall outlet and an extension cord. This is also equipped with smart charge technology, which means it monitors your charging system and shuts the charging off once your battery is full. On this machine, you have your choice of either a 42 inch or a 48 inch deck. Whichever one you choose, you can confidently mow up to two acres on a single charge. While we're on the subject of charging and battery life, John Deere offers a factory five-year warranty on the battery. You can upgrade to a 10-year PowerGuard warranty, giving you peace of mind for the next decade. Now that we're in the driver's seat, let's take a look at what it takes to operate this electric machine. And it all starts right here with this magnetic key pin. We're gonna start by inserting the key pin and pushing the power button. This turns on our display panel and our status display in the floorboard. If you'll notice, the status display bar is white, indicating we're in standby mode. In this mode, we can see that our parking brake is on, we can see our battery life and how many hours we have on the machine. But when you're ready to mow, we leave standby mode by pressing the button and holding it for two beeps. After you hear those two beeps, you'll notice 
that your status bar has changed from white to green. Now you're ready to mow. With the electric drivetrain, you have your choice of three mowing modes. Low mode, high mode, and bagger mode. Low mode limits your ground speed to five miles per hour, which is ideal for trimming and precise maneuvering. In high mode, there are no limitations. We have access to the full seven miles per hour ground speed, and it's ideal for most mowing conditions. In bagger mode, we increase the blade tip speed to move material from the deck to the bagger collection system. We can also use bagger mode without the bagger in tougher mowing conditions. Just remember, when using bagger mode, you're gonna cover less area on a single charge. Again, I'm Pete Farm from AHW. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garage while we discuss the electric and gas machines. If you want to learn more about the Z370R electric or any other John Deere equipment, visit us at any of our many locations or online at ahwllc.com. And remember, AHW is always here when there's work to be done.